Hi, in this video, I'm going to be doing a Rider AI test to see whether or not it's good for mobile laptop reviews or product reviews or other technical um, type content. All right, so this was requested by a commenter asking whether or not uh, Rider was any good for mobile laptop reviews. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, test it out. All right, so just in case anyone else wants to know, I'm pretty sure. Um, I, I looked on the internet and I looked on YouTube to see if there's any content that shows how well these softwares perform for technical uh, information and I can't I couldn't find anything so I'm gonna just go ahead and make make this video and for those of you who want to find out as well uh, join me along in the process all right so let's go with writer real quick and the very first thing is laptop reviews or product reviews I'm gonna just go ahead and type in the top 10 laptop all right so top 10 laptops and then from there i'm just going to go ahead and enter the names uh the very first link let's see this one okay i'm just going to go ahead and copy the copy the uh the name of the laptop oh, this is number two where's number one okay i'm just going to go ahead and, and copy the laptop and i'm just going to go ahead and uh enter it into writer software to see if it can actually produce anything so this is block section writing this is the topic I'm gonna enter that as a keyword I'm gonna put three variants and optimum click on write and let's see what comes up I'm gonna compare it to what's already written and see if it makes any sense give it some time let me pause it okay so it's done and let's see hey i've been getting a lot of questions again i've mentioned in another video how to make money with youtube using ai tools to automate my channel and to save time while building traffic so hey if you're interested in how to make money with youtube using ai tools to automate a lot of your work and to build traffic uh, i'll put a link in the description and it will take you to the course where you can see how I do that. It's just there for people who are interested, so let's get on with the video. So it says Apple is one of the most popular brands in the world, and this popularity is not limited to their smartphone. The company also has a line of laptops which are known for their performance, design, and quality. The MacBook Air M2 is a laptop design by Apple that has been on the market for quite some time now, and it was first introduced in October 2018, and it has been updated to its second edition in April 2019. The new MacBook Air M2 features a 13.3 inch retina display with a resolution of 25, uh, 2560 times 1600 pixels at 227 PPI, an Intel Core i5-8259U processor clocked at 1.6 gigahertz with turbo boost up to 3.8 gigahertz. 8 gigabytes of RAM and 128 gigabytes SSD storage capacity. Well, wow, that sounds that's that sounds pretty good. Let's check it out with the original. And the original of what what this this uh, blog post says is uh, base model includes 8 gigabytes of memory, 256 gigabytes of storage, an 8 gig, 8 core CPU and 8 core GPU starts at 1,190. Uh, okay, uh, it does give general information. All in all, it, uh, let's read the second one. Apple MacBook Air M2 is the latest laptop from Apple. It is one of the best laptops in the market. The MacBook Air has a beautiful design. It is light and slim, and it has a long battery life. The new MacBook Air has a 13-inch screen. Uh, let's see resolution, which can be considered as Retina display. It also has eighth grade, sorry, eighth gen Intel Core i5 processor. The battery can last up to 12 hours on a single charge, which makes it perfect for people who are always on the go. The new MacBook Air starts at 1,190 USD for 128 gigabytes storage and 149 USD for 256 gigabyte storage with no keyboard or mouse included in the price. Excuse me. All right. So the question is whether or not it can do product reviews. And I'm going to answer it quickly by saying yes with a caveat. And that means 
it might not get it right the first time. Like this was okay ish, but I'd say that the the better one was maybe the bottom two. Right? If you combine the, the the this one and this one together, it it's a decent answer. All right. Uh, compared to the original. Okay. Now this is it's pulling its own source. So, uh, but I just want to use the original review to see to to have something to compare it to. So yes, it could do um, laptop reviews, product reviews, but it needs um, it kind of needs a couple of goes at it. So you have to set it to three variants. And from my experience, uh, sometimes it takes uh, multiple tries. So that's why I highly recommend anyone who's interested in using an AI tool use Writer because of its unlimited um, its unlimited output. Right, you're not based on a credit-based system. If you go with the the uh, the highest tier um, monthly monthly membership, which is I think thirty dollars a month, twenty nine or thirty dollars a month, um, you know the reason why you do that is because let's say this one is not good, this one's not good, and and this one's not good, and you have to do write more, three more variants, and you have to do it again. Well, you just ha and if this is based on a credit based system like Jarvis is, you just wasted. 1,842 characters, right? And then, and then now have to spend 3,766 characters just for one section here. Now, does that seem worth it to you if it's on a credit-based system? To me, I think that's a, that's a joke. So Rider can do it, but it does take multiple goes, all right? So please keep that in mind. Now, the second thing I wanted to test out is whether or not it can write about technical topics such as AI or maybe... Um, medical procedures. So let's go with um, artificial intelligence. Let me go get out of this. And go with artificial intelligence um, robots. Okay, let's just go with that. Type this in and click right for me. The reason why I pick artificial intelligence robot is there's some AI writers that I actually put this topic in and it could not give me anything coherent. <laughs> so you, you would expect an artificial intelligence content writer to be able to write about artificial intelligence, but um, not, don't assume anything. <laughs> so that's why I'm actually typing this in because you know, it's quite technical. I, I realized after the fact I got gibberish that maybe it's a bit too technical for certain AI writers. So that's why I'm putting it in here. All right. So artificial intelligence robots are, are a relatively new phenomenon. They have been around for about 50 years, but they have only recently started to get popular. The first robot was designed to do simple tasks. All right, let's go with the next one. Art artificial intelligence robots are now being used to help with day-to-day -day tasks that humans do. They can be used in many different fields, such as customer service, education, healthcare. Robots are becoming more uh, advanced and sophisticated in the task. They're able to work alongside humans and even replace them for some jobs. All right, uh, yeah, these these are pretty these are pretty decent decent pieces. All right, it's coherent. It makes sense. All right, so let's try a medical procedure. Um, I don't I'm not really good with medicine, so I'm just gonna type in uh, common medical procedure. All right, and then see what comes up, and then it's gonna. Uh, let's see and see see what comes up. I'm just going to put the name in the most uh, common one. Let's see. I don't know what I don't know what this is. It's, I guess it's appendix removal. All right. So I'm going to copy this, add it into Rider to see if it can if it can, uh, make something coherent out of this. Let me get out of this and click right for me. Three variants. So far, it's doing a pretty decent job, but the, in worst case scenarios, it takes maybe three variants and maybe another try to get what I what I need. All right, so let's go. The appendectomy, I hope I'm not butchering that, <laughs> is a surgical procedure, procedure to remove the appendix. The appendix, which is found in the lower right part of the abdomen, is a tube-like structure that extends from the large bowel. The Appendix has been linked to many different functions in human beings and other animals. For example, it can act as a reservoir for beneficial bacteria that help digestion and can be used to produce white blood cells. All right. Well, I mean, there you have it. It can also talk about medical uh, procedures, okay, common medical procedures. So um, 
technical topics should be okay when it comes down to um, using this AI. But let me just go one further and talk about um, common car repairs. Common uh, car repair. Okay, let's go with this one. Okay, I'm, I'm just going to go with replace cat catalytic converter. Copy this and enter it in here. Oops. And see if you can talk about this this procedure, uh, this uh, common uh, re repair option as a mechanic. Right? If, you, if you need to fix, get this fixed. I'm going to go back and I'm going to go ahead and click on write for me and see what comes out. Because I want to be thorough, like not a lot of not a lot of channels or or videos talk about some of the issues that come up with uh, these AI tools. So let's see. When a catalytic converter fails, a car is no not able to meet emission standards. The catalytic converter is a device that reduces the emission of cars, trucks, and buses. It converts toxic gases into less harmful gases before they are released into the atmosphere. The catalytic converter is mounted in an exhaust pipe on a car or truck engine, a catalyst inside, it causes reaction that changes harmful gases into less dangerous ones. When the catalytic converter fails, the car is not able to meet emission standards. All right, All right. so there you have it. Uh, I kind of like the second one better though. A catalytic converter is an emission control device that converts the harmful gases from a car's exhaust into a less harmful gases. It does this by using a chemical process called oxidation, the main gas that the catalytic converter removes in nitrogen oxide, which is produced when f fuel burns in the engine. The catalytic converter is made up of three parts. The catalyst, which contains precious metals such as platinum and palladium. These metals are expensive and they will eventually wear out. The honeycomb structure, which has many small holes in it, let it to let air flow th through easily. This structure also helps to increase surface area for the reaction to take place. The heat shield, which helps protect the other two parts of the catalytic convert from being too hot or too cold. Well, there, there you have it. It, it, it can do technical uh, topics. It can do uh, product reviews. The last thing I want to do is um, I'm just going to go ahead and do websites. I want to see if it can do website reviews because why not? I mean, if you get something, you want to see, you want to push it to its limit, limits to see how well it can um, perform. Now, this is a doesn't seem like a very popular site, but maybe I'm wrong. I'm going to go ahead and copy this and uh, add it to here to see to see if it uh, if it can write something decent. Okay. So this would be the final test, a writer, to see if it can write about websites. I'm going to pause it. Oh, hold on. All right. So Strut Daddy is a, we is a website that sells high-quality men's shoes. Nope, this is wrong. Okay. Strut Daddy is a sneaker store in the United States. No, that's wrong. It's a clothing store. Nope, that's wrong. See? So... When it comes to website, it struggles a bit because it's, you know maybe there is a, a Strut Daddy website that uh, off that sells shoes. I'm gonna go with I, I have to give it more information. Let me see what it is. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, copy this one and enter it in here. To give it some more information, I'm going to delete this because this is kind of wrong. Actually, let me just leave it there and click right for me. All right, so like I said earlier, you need unlimited uh, output because this is all dead. All right, this is this is wrong. Let's go. Let's see what it has. Here we go. So it's right now. Now you you add additional information. All right. It, it can uh, figure out what you want to talk about, and it goes Strut Daddy's 
the full service shop with the best in class service. They're committed to providing their customers with the best possible experience, and they do that pro providing them with the latest and most innovative products. Uh, has been around since 20, 2005, and they have been supplying the customers with high quality products ever since. They offer a wide range of services so that so you can find what you're looking for no matter what it is. Okay, and just let me just double check to make sure it's actually 2005. Uh, Huh. Let me check real quick. Okay, so 2015. All right, so th this this date is wrong. Uh, as you can see, it it gets it kind of right, but at the same time, you, you know, you're gonna have to fact check everything if it's if it's a very small website it has issues with that all right and that's i want to be clear about so it has to be a pretty for what from my experience it has to be a pretty big website and it'll be it'll do okay but if it's a small like a mom and pop website it struggles <laughs> it struggles really you know so uh that that's the one caveat i want to put out there in the next video i'm going to also delve, delve deeper into some of the common weaknesses with ai content uh, creation software such as ai video creation software or um, ai content writing software I, i'm going to delve deeper into that so that people can manage their expectations and know what they're getting into before buying or, or um, signing up for a AI writing software yeah, because it's it needs to be talked about. Not many people talk about this. I know this is a channel focusing on AI, but with anything that has, you know, uh, that's good, you know, and that's quick, it also has you know, strengths and also weaknesses that come with it. So I have to talk about the weaknesses in order to make things balanced and, you know, to make sure that people understand that this is not a magic, you know, this is not magic. This is not a silver bullet that, that does everything for you, okay? It has limitations, too. And knowing those limitations will help you uh, decide whether or not it's right for you. All right, so I hope this video was helpful. And if it was, could you please hit the like button? I'm Vince from Digital Menace Suit. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.